that's no sense. All right, it is 6.30, so I'm going to go ahead and start the meeting. We have uh, Peter and Emmanuel and myself and Joan, uh, Cameron. Joan for the committee. And we have several visitors and our new uh, maintenance man, James, and of course, uh, Merman is here. <coughs> the first item of business, we have a set of minutes from September of 2022. Hearing no objections, the minutes will be accepted as submitted. Hearing none, so ordered. Property manager's report. Myrna, what do you got for us? Um, for the property manager report, we only have the introduction of James. Yes. Um, so we just want to board to meet him. He's our new maintenance guy. He's here, here, he's here at the Royal Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 7.30 to 9.30. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, he's here from 7.30 to 2 o'clock um, for any service request of us that's out of the Royal. Okay. So he's our new maintenance guy. <laughs> Finally. Well, <all> right. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I have for the properties, man. That's okay. it? We got nothing else going on? Nothing going on. Okay. Moving right along. <laughs> uh, old business. Street lights at the Heights. Street lights at the Heights. We have finally received a uh, new contract from uh, Eversource. So it's currently being reviewed by the owners and hopefully okay. we can get there soon. Now, I want to make it very clear to everybody, anybody who's listening. <coughs> While it's true we have street lights because we have streets, um, we, that is the Darien Housing Authority and the management company, Imagineers, has very little control over the street lights. Anything that occurs regarding the street lights, any maintenance that has to be done, any changes that have to be made are the responsibility of Eversource. And of course, Eversource will send us a bill for whatever services they provide, but they're responsible for making it happen. And the problem we're currently having with Eversource is, number one, it takes way too long for them to respond to any of our requests. And number two, when they do respond, in, in many instances, unfortunately, the response is not complete. Uh, as Myrna just indicated, we, did, we're we want to change out all the street lights uh, from incandescent lights to uh, uh, LEDs. We're fine, and they're willing to do that. But they sent us a contract indicating what work they were planning on doing, but didn't put any dollars to it, didn't tell us what it's going to cost. So for management to make an evaluation of whether or not this is the right thing to do, it makes absolutely no sense until we know what the costs involved are. Yeah. We do, should we do it all at once? Should we do it in phases? And we're wait, we are waiting on Eversource to, to provide us with additional information before we can have any further discussion on that particular subject. I know the residents are concerned. There are areas at the Heights that are dark. They would like to have those areas brightened up. We share their concerns. We would just as much like to have them brightened up. But we are working at, at, uh, with Eversource, and there's very little we can do other than uh, wait for them to get us the appropriate response. I agree. <laughs> Next. The West Avenue road work. Uh, <laughs> you know more than me. The road work at West Avenue is pretty much done. They have to repaint the, the roads so that they indicate that they have, in fact, created a left turn lane. Uh, but all the work on our side of the property is done. They put the new sidewalks in. They uh, regraded that corner. They put grass. They grossly, grossly exceeded what the uh, 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 easement was that we gave them in terms of the area that they worked in. However, the, the sidewalk and the road itself did not exceed what we expected to see in terms of how much property they took. The, the property that they dug up in removing trees and things like that, they did restore all the grass. Uh, I will talk with, after the Thanksgiving break, I'll talk with Jeremy and find out what other landscaping is planned for that corner because if you all recall, we were paid a, a couple thousand dollars, we were paying a great amount of money for the easement. And we indicated, we as a committee had voted way back then, that rather than figure out how to put that money into the general fund, et cetera, we would like to have that money used to do landscape improvement on that corner to make that corner look truly nice. And so we'll see what has to be done to, to accomplish that. Um, 
otherwise, you know, we now have a sidewalk. The sidewalk on West Avenue extends all the way down past the two properties that we own on West Avenue. Just extending to what you And they're they're working on the on the on the road work. They have to repave the road. There's still some work to be done, but nothing that involves our property yet beyond what has been done here. Business, Business Senate. This was yours, Myrna. Mm -hmm. Business centers over at the Heights, they were reviewed by our technicians um, and they have determined the computers need to be replaced. They're completely done. So we have, we're waiting for the quotes for the ones for the Heights. Okay. Um, over at the Royal, we just waited for the printer to be delivered and to be installed. Okay. And hopefully we'll be open again. I mean, the Royal is open. The Heights is the one that is yes. completely closed. Yes. Uh, schedule. We got a tentative schedule for this coming year yet? Well, I have the same one as last year, as uh, only two months that don't have meetings is August and December, which I actually got an email from the town today that I had to submit it. Uh, but I was waiting for you if you guys ever find any other information. Uh, we had discussed in our last meeting the concept that instead of meeting once a month, we would meet every other month. Any comments, questions, concerns? I hear nothing. Somebody. <laughs> Renee, you look like you're I, I like the concept, but maybe a different approach would be if we had, um, like some other commissions do, a public meeting every other month and a planning meeting between, because I think that we probably should be um, looking at some of the finance team that's going to have to get redone in a few years and, and you know do we have the resources do, do we need to do something different and i think we need to kind of be looking at that type of, of thing and also be working with imagineers on what kind of um i call the capital budgets for for the heights in particular since we're at the point where some work needs to start being redone and um you know focus on on the order we're going to do it and where the funds are going to come from and all that so it's not a react reacting to we're uh, part of the planning process as well peter are you of the opinion uh, as i am that the schedule that myrna has which is the same meeting schedule that we've had in the past years would would suffice we would simply have to go we'll, we'll submit that to the town those are the meetings that we will have but we will submit a, a supplementary document um, sometime next month or the beginning of January, indicating which of those meetings will be for public comment and which will be solely for board business. That's a good idea. That'd be fine. I have no problem with that. I just I think we should, as a commission, though, be thinking about, you know, what's the, um, what, are, what are the, uh, you know, the needs that, uh, I'll say longer term strategic needs we need to be focusing on that, you know, um, may require some of us doing some homework or, you know, subcommittee type stuff versus the, you know, the management group is, is running the two facilities at this point quite well. They, we have new facilities which are uh, less prone to some of the issues we may have had in the past. And, and I think we just need to maybe recalibrate um, how we spend our time and, and so on. Um, but as far as submitting something to the town, we can always make amends if, if we need to. You know, I think we should just, you know, be aware that times are changing and maybe we have to do a little bit too. What I would propose is that we will send out the schedule um, of meetings similar to what we had this year to the town. At least get those meetings on the books so that you know, because it, it is a little more difficult to add additional meetings than it is to cancel meetings or to change the subject of the meeting. But to get the date scheduled and posted. Uh, it, it's incumbent upon us and the town wants us to do that. I will then send out, as your chairman, I'll send out a, uh, a, an email sometime, I don't want to promise next week because my schedule is getting a little tight here, but uh, next week or the week after, uh, looking for comments on what subjects should be taken up during the, the board only meetings. Now for those of you who are here attending this meeting, what this means is that uh, the meetings meetings have to be posted. They have to be open to the public. We can't hold meetings in private. But what we would do is every other meeting, we would allow 
time for public comment and for the public to participate in the meeting. And then on the board only meetings, it would simply be for the public to gather information. We would not accept comments or questions from the public. Everybody understand? Yes. Yes. Are we all in agreement? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then we'll submit the uh, schedule as currently written. Okay. And I'll get a memo out sometime next week or the week after, and we'll start listing some items that we want to uh, that we want to discuss as board members. Okay. okay. Hello, Joe. Joe has joined us. <laughs> Apologies for being late. Had an emergency. No, no problem. Uh, resident directory. We have created a resident directory for the Royal. What we did, Myrna sent out a memo to all the residents explaining to them that they did not have to participate, but if they wished to, they could. The information that we have captured from the residents is the name, the apartment number, if they wish, a phone number and an email address so that other residents uh, will know how to contact the, their neighbors here in the building. Um, that is available on it has, No, not yet. So we are still waiting for the response because we originally sent out the, their first notice. Yep. Uh, we were going to be posted on on our front entrance, but the response was different. A lot of them didn't object, they object to participate to be posted in the front office. They'd rather be delivered directly to them. So we sent a second notice, and the second notice had more impact, and we have a lot of people responding. So once we have everybody completed who is participating, we will deliver the... We'll get it printed up in each resident. And each door. Everybody will we'll get, get a hard copy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we had a good response to her, so Any surprisingly, <laughs> that was Ian's request. <laughs> I'm happy, but I forgot about email addresses. You put that down too? Yes. That's great. I'll give you mine. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, that's all I have for old business. Did mm -hmm. I miss anything? No. I don't think so. New business. Mm -hmm. The only items we have on the agenda for new business, we are planning a Christmas party at the Royal here on December the 9th. Yes. Uh, and then we will have one at the Heights on December the 13th. With Saint Ty invited. Pardon? Saint Ty is invited. Oh. Santa Claus is coming. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, as, as far as I understand, make sure we have we are in the schedule, please. I, <laughs> check, check, check with the L's. The, uh, check with the L's. Yeah. I always have to look at the schedule because the schedule. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do like a small type of lay lunch brunch for okay. the royal. So Royal December the 9th, we are planning on starting at 3 o'clock yes. and ending around 5, 5, 5 30, something okay. like that, um, because I have another appointment at the Darien Boat Club. And then on December the 13th, which is, yes, the Tuesday. Pictures uh, with Santa. The, the, the party at the Heights will begin at 6 o'clock. Santa will get there sometime between 6.30 and 7 because I have an engagement at St. Luke's with their admission school. <laughs> and I got to tell you. <laughs> anything, any, Joe, anything for a free meal, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, you should see those, ki those kids at the Heights are really excited. Every year, believe me, they, it's a big yeah. crowd at the Heights. It's a lot of fun. It really is. And I, and I make a big deal out of looking at the schedule and stuff, but I hope you all know, I, nobody has more fun than I do. <laughs> the thing that constantly amazes me is that I am still getting requests for visits from Santa Claus. You, you know, today is what, November 22nd? Yeah. And uh, you know, I had a gal yesterday who, who really got kind of upset because she wanted a Sunday afternoon in December. And you, you want to be on my schedule in <laughs> December, in Jan you know, Sunday in December. You got to call me in April yeah. because by, by <laughs> April, May, my Sundays are completely booked. Yeah. And when I say book, I start at 8 o'clock in the morning and I finish at 8 o'clock at night. Wow. So it is a full day. But a full day of fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Anyone interested? The uh, tree lighting for the Darien Sports Shop will be Sunday afternoon at between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. Um, Santa Claus is scheduled to arrive on a fire engine. Uh -huh. We are uh, 
we're holding our fingers crossed for the weather. We don't know what the weather's going to leave us with. Okay, so that takes care of the uh, two Christmas parties. That's all I have on the agenda for new business. Is there anything else that somebody has that we should be talking about? Um, the only thing I did forget to add, uh, it's not new businesses, it's part of our um, property management report. We are in the process of doing um, inspections with our fire marshal, um, which uh, at the heights um, has come to our attention that a lot of the shoe racks in front of the doors cannot be, we cannot have no shoe racks in front of the doors. So that's something we are working over there at the heights um, to start removing all the shoe racks from the front doors. They did allow the mats, but they were also against to the mats because of fire hazard, yep. or, I mean trip, uh, trip hazards. Um, and then we were then moved here for the inspections here. Yes, at the a afterwards. It's going to take a while because it's, this this is a yearly event. It always takes a while, and even though we've done it year after year, there are always new things that crop up. Um, you know, depending on what what's on our agenda and also what happens to be on the fire marshal's agenda. Sean, right. Sean is a good guy. That's Sean the fire is a Yeah, he's really good and he works well with us and... Uh, We're not, they're not calling us on the carpet for anything. We've had a very good relationship with the fire marshal's office and these inspections just take time. Um, there's just nothing else we can do about it. We have a little bit of presence, you know, because of the shoe racks outside their doors. Um, fortunately, they had to all be removed. Not no. sure right. It is what it is. Okay. Yeah. These things come in waves. You know, somebody puts one out, everybody else sees it, so oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> and then you find out after they've done it that, well, wait a minute, we can't do it that way. Yeah. So, so that's, we'll, that's we'll, the only we'll, thing. We'll work it out. Anything else? That's it. That's it. Anybody else got anything for new business? Something we haven't covered that we should be covering? Anything from the residents at the Royal? Any residents from the Heights? Questions, mm -hmm. comments? Do you have any, do you guys have any questions, any comments? Now's your chance. <laughs> no, it's okay. All right. <laughs> I, I really just wanted to hear what was going on. Thank you. Unless somebody has something else, I have no further business for the commission. Anybody got anything else that I've missed? We have no, no uh, executive meeting tonight scheduled? No. Nope. We have no business. We gotta go get ready for Thanksgiving. We are looking. We are looking to. Uh, we're, we're in the process of refinancing the heights. All that paper, the necessary paperwork, has been signed, processed, mm -hmm. and is now with the lawyers. Lord only knows where that will lead. Um, and one can expect that in a couple of years we'll go through the same exercise with the royal. But uh, everything seems to be in, in reasonably good shape. We haven't had any problems. Okay. That's it. Uh, I wish everyone a very, very happy Thanksgiving. And if I don't see you all between now and the holidays, have a wonderful Christmas season. Thank you. Yeah, we'll not meeting next month. We do not have a meeting <laughs> so in December. January. Yeah. Uh, our next meeting will be in January. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved with a happy Thanksgiving to all. All in favor, aye. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for your time.